Okay, so today we are back to the Fury Redux to the one interesting and important campaign. And no, we are not talking about old mushroom Vladimir Lenin. No, we are talking about the Fallen Eagle. We are talking about the Ottoman Empire. Empire that is living more than 600 years into this moment, by 1936. But we have a one but not a little problem. It's a kinda big problem. So we have lost almost all our territories and left only in the Anatolian Peninsula and left only Constantinople with us. We have degraded to the territories that we had at the beginning of the 15th century. Now we are standing between the Great Reborn of the Ottoman Empire and the Great Death of the Ottoman Empire. But today we choose the Great Reborn of the Ottoman Empire. We will do it with our Deutsches Reich, with our German friends. And also we are going to become the central of Islamic world and we are going to be the most powerful Islamic country in the world. So let's start our campaign and enjoy! Bana kulak verin! Efendim! Emredersiniz efendim! Emriniz yok mu? Emriniz yok mu? Hazırım! And there you can read information about our Ottoman Empire and what has happened after our lose in the First World Reich. A mountain rim. And what about population? The population of the Ottoman Empire right now in these small territories is 9 million people. But Turkish people are divided between lots of states, between Italy, Hellenic Republic, French colony, Kingdom of Kurdistan, Republic of Armenia, Georgia and other countries. So we need to unite at least Turkish people in one country, as well as unite with our Azerbaijanis brothers. Mushroom is dead. Yep, it was like a boom headshot and our Sultan is assassinated. But we don't give a fuck about it, cause he was a bad Sultan. Anyway, we are going to save Ottoman Empire and elect a new Sultan. And it's not going to be the liberal Sultan. Shut the fuck up, liberals. And now we choose the next Sultan and it's going to be Asmat Fuad Effendi who is our field marshal. So we choose him and choose the paternal autocracy. There we go, now we have the beast Ottoman Empire with a firm hand. And the cool wolf icon, a revanchist empire. That's who we are. Like in the next few years I'm going to deal with this focus trick cause it's most important to us to reform our empire. And in the end of this focus tree, the phoenix will arise. From the ashes. Focuses takes for one month, so it's pretty easily to search them. And in the Soviet Russia, the power is consolidated in the Clement Varashilov hands. In his honor we even have the city Varashilov Grad. Now it's Luhansk. Pretty cool Ukrainian city. And yeah, Varashilov has born in Luhansk Oblast, but he is not from Luhansk, he is from Bakhmut. So he is definitely a Ukrainian man. And now Ukrainian man controls the whole Soviet Russia. Italy offers to sell us Panfilia. And of course we agree. Lol, we easily get our territories back and we gain back the Antalya. So now Russian and Ukrainian tourists will rest right here and enjoy their life in Antalya. You know, I have rested in Antalya a few times and I can say that it, it's a pretty cool region. Best wishes to my Turkish subscribers. And the most important thing is that uh, Panfili is our core territory and now we have united a uh, Turkey people from here. Silence the opposition? Opposition? Never heard about it. But let's do it. But we know only one party, Slamet i Osmani Firkasi. That's all that we know. 
we don't know other parties. Oh, and one important moment. Just one minute. That's good. This bent parliament. Yeah, I can't recommend you to smoke the parliament cigarettes. Like you can smoke Marlboro or other cigarettes, but not the parliament. And what they mean about parliament, cause in Ottoman Empire we don't have this cigarettes parliament. So what they mean by that? And yeah, we have defeated the counter-revolution against the Ottoman Empire in the face of the Republic of Turkey. Maybe they had know something about parliament definition. In August 1937 we are going to become a member of the Stahlpakt, the reborn Central Powers. And yeah, German agrees to see us in their alliance. We will reclaim our rightful land with Germans together. We will help you, bro. Well, we have something strange happening in North America. But let it be. Let Quentin Roosevelt destroy the synarchist Mexico. Even if they have almost reached the Canadian border. Mexicans, you should reach border near like El Paso or in California to get into to get into the USA, but not go into the Canadian border. Your border locates not right here. Also we got a new cool ally, Ukrainian state. I support that Germans will help Ukraine to reunify their territories. Especially to make Poltava bigger and greater in this world. We need to build a great Poltavska oblast. So it's like a happy end to the United States of America, they have crushed the United States of Mexico, even gave them back the South California, and now they are doing pretty good. USA is saved, and the bastion of the democracy is alive. Back in the Poland, yep baby, yep. So Poland is going to be destroyed in a few months, and probably Ukraine is going to join this partition of Poland to gain back Lviv and Stanislaviv. Uh, yep, Ukraine has joined this war. So it's the end of the March 1939 and the Poland was crashed by the German and Ukrainian forces. But Ukraine got nothing from this war. So after attacking Austria, the war between Stahlpakt and Continental Entente has started. And like we are going to join this war a little bit later. And I would like to get back my Mediterranean coast. Italian and French colonies are going to get back to the Ottoman Empire. Now our German friends has attacked Belgium and Luxembourg. Probably they will give us parts of their territories with no war. LOL French Republic accepts. How to easily fuck up the French Republic, lol. And now we're going to join war, destroy pretty easily Italian forces and conquer uh, the rest French colonies. And to this moment Paris is captured. And now we join this war. So let's fucking destroy these stupid Europeans. But Italy isn't in Entente. Okay, I hadn't thought about it, I thought they are in the Entente. Anyway, let's destroy the stupid French army. And now I would like to move Eastern and demand the trap zone from Republic of Armenia, cause we must destroy them, as well as the Kingdom of the Kurdistan. Now French forces are trapped in the Syria and go into die right here. Well, they refused our demands, so we are going to destroy stupid Armenia. And by the way, we have to destroy Kurds. Cause we can go further into the Armenia from Kurdistan lands. And also we don't like Kurds. Now we can say finally goodbye to the Kurdistan. Cause they can't handle our forces. They are going to capitulate right now. As I said. This shit has happened again. Just listen. Yep, goodbye Yerevan. Yerevan is going to be captured and after that Armenia is going to capitulate. As I said, and now Georgian troops are trapped right here. Road to Tbilisi is free and that's pretty good for us. As well as their forces are trapped in Armenia and their next capital is going to fall in a few days. 
they have no free manpower. Finally, it's minus Georgia and Armenia, and it was war one by one with them. We're going to realize small Georgia and small Armenia. So I have realized small Georgia with paternal autocrats and small Armenia. These territories are going to be mine. And what about the population of the Ottoman Empire? The population of the Ottoman Empire right now is almost 16 million people. That's pretty good. And by the end of this year, Soviet Union is going to collapse. Well, 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 Italy has fucked up their French allies. So goodbye, Marshal Philippe Pitain. Yep, Soviet Union has capitulated. Wow, they have changed a uh, Russian color. And as you can see, Russian Empire is going to die soon. But anyway, we got a pretty cool news. Now Ukraine controls the whole Azov Sea. And Russia has no access to the Black Sea. Congratulate Ukraine in the comments, please. It's a pretty cool Ukrainian state. Also with Rostov. I like this Ukraine a lot. Okay, so let's conquer our camels back, and by the way, let's take our territories back in the Middle East. We're going to restore the Middle Eastern borders of 1914. And the special military operation against the Mashriq Kingdom is going successful. We're conquering Syria and Iraq pretty easily. Goodbye, Kingdom. Now we have access to the Red Sea, and wait a minute. Is it named for the dead Bolsheviks that died in the sea or what? Japanese forces has landed in Morocco and now fighting for the Französisch Freistaat. Now you have seen all in this life. Well, in dividing France I took all that I wanted. I took the Syrian piece of France. Fuck you Greece, we are going to destroy you once and forever. Like we did it when we captured Constantinople. We are going to destroy you one by one. Turkey against the Greece. We will prove that Turkish army can beat one by one anyone. By the moment of the February 1941 we have lost 10,000 men. Greek army has lost almost 90,000 men. And we have destroyed their offensive line near Adrianople. Now we are moving to the Greek territories. Yeah, by March 1941 the situation for the Greek army is almost catastrophic. And we have lost only 18,000 men. So Hellenic Republic has capitulated. Goodbye Greece, we destroyed you as easily as we did it in 1453. When we conquered Constantinople. And that's the way the Greek territories will look like. Small Greece. With territories like before First World Reich. And all other territories I will annex to myself. As well as Western Thrace where a lot of Turkish people live in. And our next goal is going to be Italy. Cause we need to take back our colony Libya that they have stole from us in 1911. And we need to get back the Mediterranean coast as well as the Dodecanes. With Allah help I started to justify war against them. It will take 60 days. As you can see occupying of Libya is going successful, especially as occupying the Rodi and other territories. Special sexual operation against the Albania and Italian colony in Flore has started. Ok, Kingdom of Italy has capitulated in the land. What will they do right now, I don't know. So Italy has capitulated, but Germany is going to be my colony. As well as the Decanus. Germany, it's not your territories. Oh, I would like to get Somali. I don't need another colonies, I just need to take Somali. Yep, Somali is mine right now. So yeah, I just give this province to the Greece and the Decanus to me. As well as now, Libya belongs to me. With Somali. What will we do right now? We're going to crush the British Empire. At least we will take just Kuwait, uh, Palestine and that's all. For now. At least. Oh, but before that we need to make a special military operation in Azerbaijan. Turkish brother must unite in one alliance. <laughs> There we go, now we have the Azerbaijan in our 
great alliance. Now I would like just to conquer the British colonies on the Middle East, as well as Kuwait and Jewish Commonwealth, that's all. We need only to take Jerusalem back, to establish a Jewish autonomy in the Ottoman Empire and restore the borders of 1914. We won't go to the Arabian Peninsula, we will just capture these two territories and the Ottoman Empire will look pretty cool. Allah has helped us to start the war without justifying it. It's all because of Allah. Thanks to Allah. Now we have just to occupy these lands and that's all. As well as in Kuwait, we have crushed the British army right here. Even with gross tractors. So yeah, that's all that I wanted to do in this campaign, really. We have built the Great Ottoman Empire, we have restored borders of 1914, except of some parts like in the Hashemite Arabia, but we don't give a fuck about these territories. Let Nage with Hashemite Arabia fight with them. But we have gained new territories such as Western Thrace, and also we get back our Livia, and now we control the whole Transcaucasian lands and countries that located right here. So I think we have rebuilt the Great Ottoman Empire with the Great Army. And what about the population of this Ottoman Empire? The population of this Ottoman Empire right now is 30 million people, almost 30 million people. And we have started from 9 million people living in the small Ottoman Empire. Oh, and I forgot to say that we have a cool puppet in the face of Hellenic Republic. So thanks for watching, leave a like and a comment below. Bye!